Hey, what's going on guys? I'm going to discuss real briefly on this video about why your battery is not charging when you hook it up to the charger and it's just completely dead. So before you do toss this, I'm going to give you guys a few different options or I shouldn't say toss it, but recycle it. Most of you guys are aware that Home Depot does have recycle bins at Home Depot. You can just toss these in. But because these batteries are 18650 batteries, lithium ion, I think there's five in this particular one right here. First, we're gonna get to this. So, you hook it on in and absolutely nothing. No beeps, no lights, no, just it's completely dead. It's not taking a charge and it's not even giving off any LEDs on the charger. It's not your charger's problem, it's the battery problem. Unfortunately, probably one cell in here has been corrupted which is causing this entire battery to, unfortunately, not work. So a lot of people, as you guys know, are scrapping these for electric bikes, building their own battery packs, so you can actually resell a dead battery. This particular one right here, the DeWalt DCB207, is actually going for $15, $16. A dead battery is going for $15 or $16. So definitely have a couple options. This is repairable if you know what you are doing, but you will have to solder in or spot weld a new 18650 cell to get back up and running. So what you'll see on eBay is you'll see people are refurbishing these, taking them apart. So the option is sell this on eBay, recoup some of your money, sell it on Craigslist for 12 bucks, 15 bucks on Craigslist, recoup some money, Facebook Marketplace, and then buy a new one. Or if you're a do-it-yourselfer, I'm gonna show you guys how to take this battery pack apart. So there are four screws, but these are security T-Torque screws. See how there's that little itty bitty notch in the middle of that screw? That is a security key one. They don't want you tampering with these, unfortunately. So there's four screws like that. I will link this in the description box below. This is my Husky. And if you can pick that up, it has a hole in the middle. So that hole gets in there with the T-Torx and we're able to loosen those little screws there. Let's go ahead and take those four off and I'll show you the inside. Hey guys, if you're new here, welcome. We have a lot of fun here. Smash that subscribe button down below and turn on your bell notifications so when fresh content comes out, you're the first to know. And if you are wondering, that size is a TT10. So the size is a 10. So a little bit of jarring with two hands and this just comes up right here like this. So here's your top portion and let's go ahead and look at this a little bit better in some light here. So as we can see here our connectors are looking good they're soldered on there still uh, on this side as well the negative terminal and the positive terminal everything else looks good right there so it's going to be a bad cell and it typically will show signs of being a bad cell or maybe not so let's go ahead and go a step further and pull this whole portion out of the bottom plastic so you can get like a maybe a plastic putter knife or something like that slip it in down here and gently raise it up, and that's gonna bring out the whole entire cartridge of batteries here. Now, do be careful, because these are lithium ion batteries, be careful with touching metal to the prongs, even though the battery might be dead, so just be careful with lithium ion cells. So as I'm looking at this right off the bat, everything is looking crispy and nice. You see the spot welds right there. I don't see any visible damage. Let's go ahead and come over here to this side. Looks okay right here on this side. And we flip it over and let's see actually what sells. So DeWalt, at least the 20 volt maxes, they're using Samsung batteries. These are very good cells, very nice. There is the precise coating right there, if you're wondering. And there are five cells in here, in this particular model of one. There's no visible damage, no corrosion. We're gonna actually have to test these with a multimeter to determine which one is bad. Could be two, but my guess is probably just one. But because this is a completely dead battery, unfortunately, the three first cells up here, they're registering pretty much nothing, maybe 0 0.01. And then these two back here are registering like a volt, maybe a hair over one volt each. Uh, so potentially these ones have been drained so much they are not gonna be able to come back to life. In some cases, you can actually resurrect these cells. These two should be fine, but they are ran a little bit lower. 
Now, if you are gonna be repurposing this pack, then you're gonna be wanting to obviously take off the top here, remove with some needle nose pliers very carefully these spot welds and then put some new cells in here, put some new strips, spot weld them back on, put it back in the case, bada bing, bada boom. That's if you're a do-it-yourselfer. Again, if this project is too much for you, then go ahead and just put it back together and sell it for 15, 16 bucks, like I mentioned on eBay. Those are completed listings. Someone's gonna buy it from you, fix it, with some cheaper cells maybe, bada bing, bada boom. What I'm actually gonna do here is I'm actually gonna take this apart. I will then put these cells after everything is cleaned off. I'm gonna put these cells on my charger right here. I will try to have this linked in the description box below as well. This, you'll put it through a full cycle to see if these are gonna hold their charge or not. So anyway, I know this video was a lot more information, but that's just kind of showing you guys exactly what does happen. It's either one cell went bad, and then unfortunately the two other cells did as well. Worst case scenario, but I think we're going to be able to resurrect at least three to four of these cells, hopefully out of that. So that is the reason why your DeWalt battery and your other power tool batteries do not accept a charge is because of one or more bad cells in the pack. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Hit that thumbs up button if it has given you a take on whether or not you want to tackle this project. The type of batteries inside the pack. Are you going to resell it, recycle it? I'll leave that up to you. If you do put these on the curb for others to find them, they're going to be much appreciative. I've actually found many battery packs during my trash picking days. So I'm very thankful of the people that have left them out for myself. Again, look in the description box below, guys. Subscribe on your way out. We're going to have more videos like this and much more. Take care. We'll see you on the next one. Don't let the party stop, guys. Hit one of these videos. Continue to watch. We'll see you soon.